Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price bounced very nicely. Um, any rash, I mean, when you consider where the price was at its lows, and then you look at where the price closed right there, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, that was a very nice bounce on the bull's part. But that now does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price action? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna give the bulls a little bit more leeway. So I'm gonna actually adjust this level of support down to the four cent mark. So why is four cents so important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about uh, four cents. Any sort of closes below there, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right down in that area of the chart that it just kind of broke back up from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say the price pulls back here, behaves like this and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows right there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. So again, once more, as far as defining the phrase progress and assigning a number to it, 0.04 is definitely the level to watch going forward. As far as levels of resistance, this will mean a little bit more to those that have watched my past videos, but you've heard me talk about 0.052 over and over again. And once again, 0.052 has struck. Yeah, the price was able to break above it, just like it's been able to break above it in several other instances. But when it comes to actually staying up above it, that's where the price really, really seems to, to, to struggle. So 0.052, definitely that key overall level of resistance. Any way you look at the chart though right now, you gotta give credit where credit's due. The bulls made a very nice bounce. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.